Hello everyone, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Siesta by Wiki Mickey. This is Wiki Mickey's first comeback in over a year. I believe it's been a year and a month, uh, I believe is the case. Uh, their previous comeback was for their title track, Cool, which was frankly cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they've got in store for us this time. Uh, before we get into it, though, uh, if you guys would like to support the channel, consider visiting our Patreon. We have bonus reactions on there. Uh, we have variety, uh, listening parties, uh, K-drama, survival show reactions. So you can check all that out over on our Patreon. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. If you just could simply like the video, subscribe to our channel would be free ways to help us out. Appreciate everyone who supports the channel. Let's get into Siesta by Wiki Mickey. This is your form of therapy. I don't know if 
it's just a coincidence, but I feel like I've been hearing a lot more outros in K-pop songs lately, and I'm digging it. Oh, they're bringing the, they're bringing the dance breaks back, and they're bringing the outros back. All right. Siesta, I think, is one of Wiki Mickey's best songs. I think... So, Wiki Mickey breaks my heart a little bit to say this, but Wiki Mickey, I feel like, has suffered uh, from one crucial thing since their debut, is that they never really quite found their sound. Um, they never really had a hard concept going, and uh, if you look at their title tracks just across the board, they're pretty diverse, but they're also... I don't know. It's 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 hard to identify what makes a Wiki Mickey song a Wiki Mickey song. And so, like some of my favorite songs, uh, like Picky Picky, for example, um, it's a fantastic song. But it's because it's a well made song, not because it's a song that I feel like has Wiki Mickey's soul poured into it. And that's not necessarily saying that Siesta is that song. I think we have to more so see uh, if. Uh, this is like something that they're going to continue going forward. But I do feel like this is just a gut reaction to the song. I do feel like this is their best song. And for me, several things. One, I think it really highlights their vocals really well. I think this is, and mind you, I'm a very casual Wikimiki listeners, uh, listener. Uh, I've only heard a handful of their B-sides. But um, I feel like this song, out of all their title tracks... I think really, really utilizes their vocals really well. And it really, really brings it alive. And two, something I talk about sometimes, uh, doesn't always happen in K-pop, especially with title tracks, is I feel like I hear them singing with emotion, you know, uh, the emotional note, the kamjong note. And I kind of feel their earnesty coming through in the vocals here. And so whoever like was the producer on this song, I think did a really, really good job of that. Third, based on the concept of what they're deriving this all around, siesta. Uh, siesta is taking an afternoon nap slash rest. Uh, I Googled this, by the way. Um, I, I'm, I don't have a dictionary in my brain where, like, uh, I'm just saying this off, off my head, but it's an afternoon nap or rest you take during the hottest time of day, uh, especially in a hot climate. And so to kind of balance that between, if you look at the lyrics on this song, to kind of balance that where they are talking about like, like I've just now woken up from my nap and you know, my heart is like fireworks or I'm like fireworks, boom, boom, boom. It's a song that's actually incredibly difficult to navigate on multiple cylinders. And I think they nailed it on all cylinders, which is sonically, you are basically describing a song that is about sleeping and about partying at the same time. Now, mind you, that's not necessarily what the definition of siesta means, but the way they describe the song. It's, it's the contrast of the subtle nuances of just like what, I guess, rest can be considered and the loud, expressive, very colorful emotions that, you know, just fireworks or uh just just whatever I, I honestly i was listening more to the song i was re, i wasn't paying attention to all the lyrics but if it's about feelings for somebody what whatever it is we're, we're gonna watch it again don't worry um they those are like loud colorful emotions so you're balancing two things and they navigate that very 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 well um it, it doesn't sound like a song that that's like two sounds mashed up together uh it works as one cohesive song and I also think Siesta, and I, I really, really, I don't know who the producer on this song is, uh, or I don't know who the a &R on the song was, whoever it was that made the magic of this song happen, I really, really hope that Wiki Mickey sticks with working with this person because I also think Siesta did a great job of really maturing their sound. I think this shows a very mature side of Wiki Mickey while still not doing, quote unquote, a mature concept. It's just a little bit more mature and a little bit more, I feel like, nuanced and beautiful compared to their more pop, cute driven stuff. And that's not, to, and don't get me wrong, I love their pop, cute driven stuff, but they've been at this for X amount of years now. And eventually your sound has to mature. Uh, as you grow older, as, as the group goes older. And I think Siesta 
It could have been just a generic party song. It could have been just a generic song in general. But I really, really think there is a level to this song that really feels very earnest and very mature. And I think they nailed that really, really well. And I think the Wikimiki members did an incredible job with their vocals, with their singing to bring that to life as well. Um, we're going to watch this again. Um, and uh, here's the thing. We're going to watch this again, but I don't really have any other reason to watch this again other than I just kind of want to listen to the song again. That's how good this song is. I really, really think this song is that fantastic. The music video, it, there's not really much I can... They, they pulled it off well. Um, I can tell they were working with a little bit of a limited budget, and we can talk about that uh, when we watch the video. But for a limited budget, they shot it so beautifully. In fact, 99% of this music video, I have, I have such high praises for because the aesthetic of this music video, the cinematography of this music video, they went for definitely a much more cinematic vibe. They went for much more cinematic natural lighting, um, the dimmer lighting, and it worked. And they pulled that off really, really well. They added in a lot of like blooming effects to give it that soft edge, which again, you contrast that with like the colorful, loud fireworks at the end. It really, really gives the video a nice dual feeling that again, feels very just homogenous. So I feel like the music video did really, really well in that regard. I think it's a very beautiful looking video. Is it that interesting? Probably not. Um, it's just like a lot of B-roll of like, people looking pensive and stuff like that. But in that regard of purely production value, I think it's a gorgeous music video. I think it's honestly their prettiest music video to date. Um, with that said, uh, I do think there was a bit of a limited budget, uh, especially in the dance scene. Um, they, I think, only had one dance set and one dance scene, and it was outdoors, and there was nothing else. There were no props, no sets, no smoke, no fog, no lighting, no nothing. They just shot out in an open field. And hell, for shooting out in an open field, that shit looked gorgeous, right? That looked beautiful, and I think they pulled that off really well. I think they absolutely, with what limited resources they had, they nailed it with this one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous music video. But beyond that, I really have no, uh, nothing else to say about it. And so me just wanting to see this again is purely to just enjoy the song. So let's check it out. Oh, that's not. By the way, you're also getting that Black Swan video. That drone shot. Oh, also, sorry, I, I forgot to uh, I forgot to compliment one more person on this uh, comeback. Whoever was the color grader on this music video, you did such a good job. The color grading for this music video is one thousand percent my aesthetic, but you know, keeping my bias out of it, it's just color graded so beautifully. They color graded this to look like to give it that film emulation look, and it looks gorgeous. It really comes alive the most, I think, during the drone shots. But really, even just like looking at this shot of Yu Jung looks gorgeous. <laughs> Also, I realized, did Yu Jung stick to mostly singing in the song? That's Yu Jung at the beginning, right? I think it might be. I know there's a little rapping in the middle of the song, but it it also isn't your typical Wiki Mickey title track format. Oh, who is that? Who 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 who's saying that? Is it Toyon? First of all, this is a side profile, so I'm not sure if this is Toyon or not. It looks like Toyon, but if that was Toyon singing, oh my gosh, that sounds so nice. Na, 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 na. I'm sorry you have to listen to that, but oh, I love that part. Oh, I, I honestly like, hold on. Uh, here, people, people get mad at me when I turn up the volume and I don't warn them. I'm warning you now. I'm turning up the volume. I need to hear what this is real quick. Hold on. All right, so I think they're synths. 
I wasn't quite sure. So when it trans transitions into this pre-chorus, um, when it transitions into this pre-chorus, there's like this very warm texture that comes in. It goes, it sounds so gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful. I was trying to wonder if those were synths or if they were horns. Uh, it could have, could have sounded like they were horns. I am going to lean they're actually more synths than they are horns. are interesting. Hold on. Oh, look at this shot. Yo, it's color graded so well. It looks so nice. Also, they shot this clearly early in the morning too because you can see, you can see the fog, which makes it look even better. Oh. Dare I say, like, if you, like, cut to these, holy crap, this is loud. I'm so sorry, guys. I just, I'm really enjoying this song. But if you cut to these close up, that shot of Yu Jung, shot of her, like, this round right here. Like, like, especially with, like, I don't know if this was intentional, but especially with, like, the sun right there, like, something about this, like, the music video feels emotional and magical and the song lyrics actually play a deeper role in that too now that i'm actually paying attention to the lyrics they're literally saying like it, it, it's a very supportive song and it's an inspirational song it's a very and like perhaps that's actually the um why they're shooting on this bridge like sort of there's a light at the end of the tunnel type of thing you know they talk about like you know i i know this darkness will end someday or like i'll support you whenever you're like weak and weary and like stuff like that you're my siesta like it's it's almost like saying like we are each other's support system you are my siesta i am your siesta is kind of what they're saying that and and just the way the music video was filmed with a little bit more of the cinematic vibe you know the blooming it gives it a very not a romantic atmosphere but a very emotional atmosphere if you want to interpret it in a romantic way you could but if you want to interpret this in just like a friendship way you could or if you want to interpret this in a way of wiki mickey is singing this to you to sing support to you you could it's a very the lyrics are just vague and neutral enough that you could really interpret this in various ways and it's a very emotionally supportive song and i think that's why it works too This just feels very intimate and emotional. You know, there there could be a lot said, you know, in terms of the context of what this means for the group, too. I mean, consider, like, the group hasn't had a comeback in a year, and it's almost like they just took their long rest, their long nap, and now they're 
having a siesta. They're 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 now awake, you know, and fireworks. The shots of them standing in a circle, looking at each other. The song and the music video convey such a much more emotional tone. Oh my God. All right. Siesta by Wiki Mickey. I think this is their finest song to date. And I'm going to even say that this is my favorite title track from them. Uh, I know Picky Picky was my favorite song, but it was a commercial song. It was a pop song at the end of the day. For me, what will always win me over is earnesty and emotions. And perhaps I'm reading too much into it, relating Siesta to their year-long break or whatever. But like I said, that's how good Siesta is, is that it's so vague. You can kind of apply this to a lot of various different scenarios and situations, you know? I mean, Siesta could be a song about COVID, you know? Like, it could be any number of things. It could be a romantic song. It could be a friendship-based song. It could be a song about family, whatever. That's how good it is. 10 out of 10. This, I think, is Wiki Mickey's best comeback yet. I think it's really, really mature. I think it shows us a very different side of Wiki Mickey, and I personally love it. And I kind of hope that Wiki Mickey can perhaps continue to tread down this path of like making such, I don't know, like good music like this, intimate music like this. I mean, it's not to say their music hasn't been good, they have had some fantastic in songs beforehand, but this just hits me a lot harder than the other ones do, you know? But guys, that's just me. You know, that's my reaction and review to Wikimiki Siesta. Let me know, what did you guys think of Siesta? How does this stack up? I think this is a very big change up for them title track wise, but for you guys, how does this stack compared to their previous title tracks? Do you like it? Is it not your thing? Do you want them to do their more pop sound? Let me know. All right, guys. Uh, whoa, what just happened there? I just accidentally swallowed a gust of tornado. But if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Of course, if you want to support us a little bit more, you can visit our Patreon. As I said, we have bonus reactions over there. We have bonus content over there. So we really appreciate your support and you'd be getting something in return. Of course, you don't have to support us monetarily if you don't want to. Go ahead and check out our videos down, no, up here. Uh, and you can subscribe to our videos, tune in for future videos, and we'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.